G'day guys, Paul from Dame Specialty Coffee. Today we're going to be brewing a pour over uh, with our current feature origin, the Kenya Gathaithi. To brew this, you're going to need a set of scales, a gooseneck kettle, which is very handy, or you could use a, any sort of jug with a spout. Uh, today we'll be using a V60, but if you've got a Chemex, you could use a Chemex, they all work very well. Vessel to pour into, always handy. And filter papers. So what you need is the filter paper first of all. You want to fold it over the perforated side, fold that one over. Don't crease too tightly. And open it up, create your funnel. And you want to wet the paper. Give it a little bit of saturation. Take away some of the flavours of the paper that may be in and some of the chemical taste that may be in there that'll take away from the flavour of your coffee. We're using a ratio of uh, 1 to 15, so we're going to use 20 grams of coffee to 300 grams or mils of water. Pour your coffee in, level it down nice and flat, and tear off your scales. Start your timer, pour nice and slowly in a centrical or, or a uh, spiral motion. We'll start with 50 grams of water. We'll leave that to sit for around 15, 20, 25 seconds, and it's called the bloom. Allow the, uh, all the water to permeate through the coffee, and it's, you'll see it will start to bubble up, releasing some of the carbon dioxide. For our second pour, we're adding another 100 mils of water to bring it up to 150 total. Personally, I like to give the uh, V60 a little swirl at this time. Just make sure all the grounds inside there are pushing through. It's taking in all the water and it's not allowing too much to settle at the bottom. Now we've come to about a minute 20. I'll add the last 100 mils of water. Sorry, last 150 mils of water. And we'll now just allow that to drain through. Now that all our water's drained through, we have a lovely, nice, even bed of coffee sitting on the bottom there. That ran for around 2 minutes 40, 2 minutes 45. That's finished dripping now, we'll take that off the top. Always give your coffee a little swirl just to make sure all the oils are through and they're nice and even through the cup when you're pouring. Ooh. There you are, just made yourself a lovely filter coffee.